LFR isn't killing raiding. You are. That's right. You are the problem with raiding and hiring content groups in general. Let's begin. Since its inception in Cataclysm Patch 4.3, LFR has been heralded by the community as a story mode version of raids. And they're mostly right. It holds your hand through the entire raid, making sure that even if you're having trouble with a boss, you'll eventually be able to beat it because of the stacking buff called Determination. And I think that name is really fitting. It's less determination to beat the boss and more determination to get out of that horrible group and get on with your life. LFR is meant to be an easy story mode for WoW raiding. It even lets the most casual players experience a large portion of the game that they wouldn't be able to beforehand. These players now get to experience beautifully designed raids and a more complete storyline for the expansion. That's all LFR is, was, and will be. It doesn't even pretend to be anything else. Yet, a lot of players seem to think that LFR is made for preparing players for normal mode raids. And don't get me wrong, it definitely can, but it doesn't have to. Let me explain. If you're a longtime player, think about how raid progress was like before LFR. Normal mode was the lowest difficulty available, and even before the advent of normal and heroic modes, there was no difficulty level. The raids themselves ramped up in difficulty throughout an expansion. Let's go back to the Burning Crusade, one of my personal favorite times in WoW. You started off raiding with Karazhan, Mactheridon's Lair, and Gruul's Lair. Karazhan was the main raid, with Mactheridon and Gruul's being essentially a one-boss raid. Karazhan definitely had its share of tough encounters, but it really wasn't too bad. And then later came Serpent Shrine Cavern, The Eye, and Battle for Mount Hydral. The difficulty ramped up here a bit with unique mechanics such as Lady Vash's Tainted Core mechanic and Kael'thas's Legendary Weapons mechanic. Later in the expansion came Black Temple and finally Sunwell Plateau. Black Temple was a beast enough, but Sunwell took everything to a whole other level. In fact, one of the bosses in Sunwell, Muru, was deemed the Guildbreaker by the community due to how hard he was to beat. This leads me to talk about how people learned how to kill bosses before LFR. Okay, so keep in mind that streaming wasn't a thing yet. You couldn't just fire up Twitch and watch the top players in the world kill a boss and learn how they did it. Boss guides did exist, but they were pretty limited in number and in quality. The dungeon journal didn't even exist. For a lot of players, you were pretty much on your own. Players had to work together as one cohesive group to figure out how to down a boss. A lot of players' attitude toward the game and rating were a bit different back then. There really was no quote-unquote instant gratification that players are so accustomed to now. You had to work together and sometimes for a good while in order to make progress. Contrast this to today's atmosphere. Lots of players are min-maxing, focusing on only getting the highest DPS, getting the most optimized gear for the sweet eye levels. But here's the crux of this entire argument. Are you ready? 90% of the players think they are in the top 1%. Let me repeat it and let it sink in and think about it for a second. 90% of the players think they are in the top 1%. The reality is that a lot of players are pretty average. They have the convenience of streams and high quality boss guides to teach them everything they need to know how to beat a boss. The most popular response when someone asks how to do something is simply, Did you watch the video? There's no real critical thinking anymore. Does that sort of sound familiar? These players use those same arguments to hate on LFR and those players. They get mad when an LFR player wants to try to do a normal raid and then doesn't know what to do and dies a bunch. Instead of trying to explain to them what to do, they just yell, get mad, and run on over to the MMOChampion.com forums to rant about how much better they are than everyone else and how LFR is ruining the game. What would happen if a heroic player suddenly jumped into Mythic? Probably the same thing that happens when an LFR player jumps into normal for the first time. The reality is that LFR actually has a positive impact on the raiding community overall if the higher skill players would let it. LFR lets new players learn the very, very basics of raiding. If higher skilled players would embrace them and teach them once they moved up to normal and heroic raids, then the raiding scene would be in a much better place than it is right now. In conclusion, it's the players' attitudes towards one another that determines how successful a raiding community is. Anyone can learn to know where to move and what to do in a fight, but if there's no one around willing to teach them, they'll never really know. And you'll end up with less quality players overall than if you just took the time to teach your fellow players. If there's just one thing that you can take away from this video, let it be this. Unless you're progressing in mythic raids, you probably aren't as good as you think you are. You're just not. 
and it's time to stop acting like you're the light's gift to all wow kind and accept that it's actually okay just to be an average raider. There will always be better players than you, and there will always be players that are worse than you. Be the kind of mentor that you would want to have if you decided to jump into high-end mythic content. Thanks for watching.